Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today. It's Wednesday, the 13th of September. We're at the midpoint of the Asian session. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in financial markets today. If we'll look at what's coming across the news today, well, overnight, of course, we saw a week session in the US. All major indices down, giving up the previous day's gains. And the NASDAQ, the underperformer. This was after Oracle dropped 13% on a poorer than expected earnings report. And Apple unveiled its iPhone 15 with little market enthusiasm about it. The reality is high oil is concerning markets. And we have a CPI number out this evening from the US. Both of those things playing into market minds a little bit. I think the energy prices will have an inflationary pressure. Uh, and indeed, we are expected to see a slight tick up in the headline number on the back of those high oil prices. US futures are just below neutral in early Asian trading and Asian markets following that weak US lead. Towards the lows of the session, the ASX is around about 0.8 of a percent down. European futures are also pointing to a soft open. The VIX is a little to the upside, but is still near pre-pandemic lows. US dollar index somewhat surprisingly trading near neutral yesterday, but we did see some strength early this morning. That seems to have subsided a little bit. And the euro seems to have taken over as been the stronger currency this morning. Despite that USD neutrality, gold did drop and test the 200 EMA. A breach of that could mean we should, could see it down to around 1900 pretty soon. And much will depend, of course, on what happens to that CPI number this evening and the impact it has on USD. Copper pulled back a little bit also, but does remain range bound. And oil is actually above resistance now on our early November highs. Bitcoin had a dreadful day the day before yesterday, but recovered yesterday, moving back above the 200 EMA and back over the tested support at 25,600. Pretty neutral today in Asia so far, but does appear to be quite choppy over the last week or so. In terms of the data, as well as that CPI number out of the US, we've had Japanese PPI already out, which was sort of around expectations. Lots of data coming out of the UK. We've got GDP and trade balance and production numbers. And Eurozone industrial production numbers also. We've got the EIA all data out this evening as well, about an hour into the US equity session. That may be important in terms of oil price. A couple of charts at Core RI today. We're we'll starting the FX world. Here's the US yen. And uh, you can see there, since open, we have pushed up pretty strongly to this R1 pivot level at 147.39. You can see over the last few days, this resistance has formed at around about 147.82. So approximately 40 pips up from where we're trading right now. So we think there's a potential opportunity here if we do breach 147.40. But you can see the last three hourly bars have tested that but failed to breach through it, although we are seeing higher lows on each of these candles, suggesting there could be a move to the upside imminent. Very slim pickings on the ASX today, but LNK, Link Administration Holdings, were our chart of the day yesterday to keep an eye on. And this 143 level, which we thought was important, because of this double bottom formation potentially and the fact that it was support here and resistance here. So 144 is what we're looking at. We could see it up to around about 160 in the medium term. So we still like this. Again, it's tested. We just need to see how it closed in the last hour to potentially consider this. But of course, we do get that CPI number out in it, which could be a significant market mover. So some caution in terms of the number of positions you have open right now may be prudent in today's session. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.